All right, so welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the new update, the Samsung One UI 7.0. They just released incredible new updates that I love it. There's some things that I love it. There's some things that I don't, but we're going to go over all of them and we're going to be showing you guys certain settings that you want to change on your phone to make sure that you take full advantage of this update. Okay, let's get right into it. So I'll be using my Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Uh, so the first thing, let's start with this lock screen itself. Let's hold the screen and then put in our pin and then you'll be faced with this. You might notice the new add widgets option. So if you tap on that, now you have the ability to add any of these as you're on your lock screen. Without having to lock your screen, you'll be able to see these information. For instance, with your calendar, if you tap on it, there's like upcoming events, uh, a new one, countdown. So you can add a countdown to any event. For instance, a birthday, an anniversary, a trip that you have coming up, whatever the case may be, you can add that to here. To actually set this up, we'll have to do it within the phone, but you can add it to here and it will show you the countdown on your lock screen. That's one. And you also notice that you have different sizes that you can pick from. Okay. Just keep in mind if you pick the two by one option, it will take more space in this area and you will be limited in the amount of apps that you can add to that widget. Just keep that in mind. Okay. So, Moving on, you also have the option to add a camera widget. I'm going to go with the one by one for all of them because I want to have more than uh, just two uh, options on there. And then even with your clock, you can have a world clock on there. OK, and for now, I'm not going to. But one thing that I am going to add is the weather. OK, within the weather, you notice that you have more than one option like participation. Uh, uh, also, you 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 V all of these. But for me, I just need the temperature and weather i will add that and then you can also if you're somebody that records lectures for your student and you record lectures and stuff like that you can also add the voice recorder any of those things and you'll get different options with that okay so i'm not going to add that because i honestly don't use that much but i will add the world clock because i do have i do some streams and some of my people that watch me are from the other side of the world so it would be good to have that on there so once you add everything you can just scroll out of it get out of it like that but before you move on i want to share with you guys something that i love which is the ability to be able to generate your own uh wallpapers lock screen wallpapers using ai okay so to do that you're gonna just tap on where it says wallpaper at the top and then you scroll down to here where it says uh, create with uh, ai I personally have not noticed this. I personally think it's a new update with this one, but it might not. But it's a pretty awesome one. I want to quickly show you guys how to do that. OK, so you just pick something from here as inspiration. For instance, you love this imaginary thing. You just tap on it and then you get the option to uh, input your own favorite things like your own preferences it will give you the prompt it was used to create this and then you can replace it with anything that you want for instance a castle a bicycle building boat on and on okay we're going to go with a boat oops i was i could have changed the, all the other stuff but you can literally change the flower you can change the color and stuff like that so this is what it came with okay you select that and then it looks horrible now, but I'll change it later. But that's the thing. Another one last thing I want to show you while we're here is if you tap on the icons over here, uh, you will be able to pick way more icons, like literally anything on your phone, any of the icons from your phone, which is just awesome. OK, that's that. Once we're done, we just tap on done and then boom, it will be good to go. The next thing that I want to share with you guys is you might have noticed that your notifications and your quick access widgets do not appear on the same place like they used to. They are now lo no longer together. Well, with this new update, they separated it, meaning that if you swipe from the left side, you get all your notifications on that side. If you swipe down from the right side, now you get quick access and all these icons. OK, while we are on here, I want to also show you 
that with this new update, you have the ability to edit this way more than we could before. Meaning that if you swipe down, you will see this little uh, pen up the top here, and then you just tap on that. Well, let me put in my pen. Now you'll see that you will be able to edit any of these stuff, okay? Meaning that I can move this, just tap and hold and then be able to move this up or down. I can move this up there. I can do any of that. And with this one here, I'm able to edit, meaning that I can add way more icons than I could before, okay? So if we just want to scroll, like let's add, oops, I accidentally added that. Let's add microphone access. Let's add camera access. And any of these, literally, you can add any of these that interests you, okay? Any of those stuff that you can add, like that okay and then let's say i added so many of them but i wanted to have i'm at this point i'm literally just tapping anything so let's say i wanted to have the battery protection at the top you just tap and hold and you'll be able to move it up like that okay you can scroll up move this one at the top move this one at the bottom you can do literally all that yourself if you somehow feel like you messed up and you have way more stuff than you needed or whatever and you wanted to go back to the default you can by just tapping reset over here and then it will reset everything the way it was uh, by default okay once we're done we just tap on done and then we're good to go as of now though keep in mind you cannot edit this meaning that you cannot remove or add or change these icons it would be awesome if they allowed us to do that i'm pretty sure in future updates they will allow us to do that but for now we cannot so i'm going to move the wi-fi and bluetooth at the top and i'm also going to move this at the top because in most cases when i swipe down these are the things that i want to change quickly okay but actually as a matter of yeah actually i will leave it like that okay you can uh, you cannot do much with this one you cannot replace or change that for now so once we're done with that we can click done oh before we actually click on done let's say we did not like the new update we're like not a big fan of it guess what you will be able to go back to the way it was when all your notifications and your quick access icons were together you can change that because i think there was uh, someone i watched a video where people were talking about how they did not like uh, the new update where it combined the notification with the icons well guess what they allow you to go back to the old way where it was separated you to do that you just swipe down to where the icons is and then you tap on the pen again and then you tap on panel settings and then you click on together as it keeps saying click but you tap on together and that will put everything together like it was before just because you put them together does not mean your settings over here whatever changes that you made to this area goes away no it does not it stays the same all the icons that we added to here is still there all of them okay and also let's go back to there one more time let's say we wanted to have this be a little bigger than the other ones we can just click tap and hold and then drag out it will be that big and then now when we hit done you will notice that when i swipe down i chose the together when i wipe down and i go like this it will have that all that open okay you can drag it down even more but that's how it's going to be okay so that's that but i personally prefer the separated notifications and that so what i'll do is i'll go back here and then i'll go back to separate it and then we click on done and then we're good to go another awesome thing that i want to show you guys within the home screen is the new widgets okay the new widgets so you, to do to get to that you just hold tap and hold and then if you go to widgets now you will see a brand new design of like the widgets and stuff like that for instance my favorite one which i was planning on adding w during this set, uh, is the calendar okay oh remember we talked about the countdown and all that that you can do that here you can pick whichever uh what do you call whichever uh widget you like the larger one like this a small one like that whatever it may be i'm gonna go with this one for the sake of not taking too much space and then it will add it i don't like how it added in the middle of my messy thing so i'll move it back come on move back to here 
Okay, so here we are. We can adjust the size of it still. And then if you wanted to pick the event that you wanted to uh, count down to, you just touch it and then it will open this. So for instance, we have this game coming up. And, uh, so I'll just tap that and then it says one day left. Okay, that's pretty awesome. And now if I save, it will have it like that. And if you wanted to, oops if you wanted to see that on your lock screen if we go back here it will hmm hold up oh we did not okay i see i see i see i see let's do it for this one okay there so now if i go back to here it will count down that so you were supposed to my mistake you're supposed to tab on it unlock it and then pick the date that you want and all that stuff okay so that's done and this is there so you can do that for a lot of different apps over here some apps might not have it but you can see which apps do and which apps have different options because you will see a small number on the right side of it so that's that okay so this one has that so yeah that's that's pretty awesome and that's that oh another thing that i want to show you guys with this new update is now the ability not only to have uh the folders but if you tap and hold your folders you can enlarge them this means when it's enlarged like this you don't have to like tap and open for you to open the app okay like you you had to before now since the thing is enlarged you can literally just open the app from here without having to open the folder you can just tap and it will be opened that is incredible this is probably one of the things that i will be doing to my phone when i'm reorganizing and changing things around but in this video i just wanted to show you guys what are the new updates and there's so many more like literally there's so many more like little things for instance like when you bring your volume up this is a new uh what do you call animation that they did for you might have also noticed that like the battery when it's uh, like being charged it's a new on also the apps themselves also got like new designs like a lot of the apps have a new design which is pretty awesome okay those were just few of them there's so many of them i feel like i should make a whole new video showing you guys how uh, while i redo my phone because right now my phone is i really did not care much about it but with these new updates i'm like i need to uh, make my phone be mine and have it exactly the way i like so i might do another video where i literally reposition my apps and uh, update certain things on it and just do all of those things with you guys but what's your favorite thing about the new update what did what don't you like for me personally i love the folders that you can enlarge and not have to open the folder for you to be able to uh, open the app within there so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did please consider subscribing to the channel and giving this video a thumbs up and i my friends i'll see you all in the next one peace out